Hi everyone, it's Marvin, Marvin Bloom. How are you? I'm doing okay, all things considered. I'm away from home, which is always hard for me, but especially hard because I'm, I'm overseas actually. I'm in Europe, in Sweden. Yeah, you know, Peterson has, you know, been working on a play, The Re-Education of George W. Bush, which, whatever. But, um, you know, I'm part of his play, I'm the MC for the production, so he's paid for me to come all the way to Sweden so that we can do this show. And I've been here for four days, and, um, you know, I'm, you know, just trying to get to know the place. and everything. Well, actually, I actually haven't left my room much, because um, as soon as I arrived, I felt all this oppression. No, it's just terrible. I mean, you know, you just feel it. You know, it's a communist country, for one. I don't know if you knew this. It's a communist country, so the very anti-God and the very pro-gay, very pro-gay, please. And anyway, so I felt it the moment I got off the plane, even though it was very clean. You know, I didn't expect to find so much oppression where there's so much cleanliness, but it is. You know, it masks itself, you know, the devil. You know, he's very much like an angel of light thing. So they're all very happy and smiley and healthy, but, you know, behind all that, you know, the devil's at work. So I've been praying and fasting for the past four days, you know, trying to bind the strong man, you know, to bring down demonic strongholds in this nation, because, you know, it's gone to hell in a hand basket, I have to say, you know, from the little bit I can see. And, you know, of course, I haven't showered or shaved in days either because, you know, when I'm fasting and praying, I don't, you know, I don't like to shower and shave. It's, you know, I don't know, it helps me get closer to God somehow. You know, just the gruffiness, you know, the scruffiness of, you know, it's very masculine or something, you know, being like this. So, it, you know, I know that, you know, I feel like, you know, I've been crying out to God, basically, to save this godless nation, you know, and I'm like, thank God I'm here, you know, because I don't know what people would do. And I'm fasting, too, because, you know, I don't know about their food. You know, you got to be careful once you leave the United States. You don't know what you're eating. You know, I, I, who knows what they're serving me. And uh, I actually brought my own water, too, because, you know, you got to be careful. You know, they, you know this, they, they talk about hard water, soft water, you know, Ebola, whatever. You don't know. So, uh, you know, I don't know what they do in this country with their water. And, um, you know, and it's just, you know, so I have my own water, and I'm fasting, and I'm praying, and, I'm, you know, I'm doing great. You know, of course, I was very concerned because I'm staying with Peterson's friends, Alex and Noah. They're a gay couple, you know, with the very nice, you know, don't get me wrong, but, you know, they, and they have children, which I don't even know where they got them from. I mean, they must just give them out in this country. You know, they're so gay affirming, right? They just give gay, gay couples children. It's disgusting. But, they, you know, very nice children, very polite. They don't know any English. I don't know what they're teaching these kids at school. But, um, you know, besides that, very nice. And, you know, it's a very normal family in very many ways. They, you know, get breakfast every day together and get the kids ready for school. They do art projects at home. Very normal. It was strange, you know. Um, you know, I think, you know, I don't know if it's just normal like this or they're just doing an act for me. But, you know, they seem very sincere. They even have a dog. Um, so, you know, they're you know, like, kind of like the all-American family in Sweden, except they don't talk much English. So, um, besides that, I'm having a wonderful time and uh, Peterson's trying to get me to go out and do stuff, but I'm not going to, you know, because I know he's just going to drag me to some gay sex club or something, which they must have all over the place here. And, I'm, you know, I'm not into that. I'm saved. All right, I'm redeemed. So, anyway, that's all I've got to say. I'm having a wonderful time and I wish you were here. And, um, you know, I know I'm close to Willie Hughes. He lives somewhere in Amsterdam or Ireland or someplace like that. So that's close, I think. So I don't know, Willie, if you come, you know, come to the show tonight. I'm in Sweden, so I'm right, you know, right up the road. Okay, well, hope you're doing all right. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Goodbye.